This is the story of the craziest internship I have ever heard of. It happened in AI. It's still unfolding. This person defrauded the company. They stole GPUs, which is the most precious resource in AI. They've been sued for a million dollars, and they're not done yet. They just won best paper at the most prestigious AI conference on the planet. Their name is Kei Tian, and he started at ByteDance, which is the parent company of TikTok, back in the middle of 2024, so like June-ish. Immediately, things went wrong. Something started to happen. So his colleagues' models would fail. His, their training runs would crash naturally during, during large training runs. There would be small innocuous file edits that would pass and somehow the pipelines would be sabotaged and no one figured out what was going on. But the net net of it was he was able to change model weights. He was able to hack machines and he caused enough of the AI training and research pipeline at ByteDance to fail that he freed up a significant number of GPUs, which he used for his own academic paper work. That's what he wanted. His whole goal was to get access to GPUs. Well, when ByteDance figures this out in August, they terminate him. Bye-bye. Fired. Fired for malicious interference. ByteDance then reports his behavior to his university and begins investigating the extent of the damages he's caused. They are very upset about this. But Tian isn't done writing. He keeps writing, and in October of 2024, he submits his research paper. Visual autoregressive modeling, scalable image generation via next scale prediction to NeurIPS, which is the most prestigious AI conference on the planet. Talk about like, wow, right? Like the, the, the willingness to basically say, yeah, I stole the GPUs, but look at what I did. It's so incredible. You have to look at this. That was what happened. And if you're wondering what scalable image generation via next scale prediction is, he's moving past just next token prediction or next pixel prediction and actually looking in images at how you can have a larger concept to translate scale more effect effectively. And one of the things that is at the cutting edge of AI in late 2024 is how do you reason against larger chunks than just a token? We saw it very recently with um, DeepSeq V3 doing double token prediction. We've seen it with a paper from Meta that's looking at reasoning across concepts. This is very much in that vein, but apparently it was such a good paper that in December, very recently, the judges at NeurIPS blind awarded the best paper at NeurIPS to Kei Tian, the intern who stole the GPUs. And, and I say blindly because they measured the paper quality without looking at names. They didn't know this was who it was. Now, obviously, the conference organizers knew who it was when they awarded it, and they still chose to award it. And there's a lot of controversy about awarding best paper to someone who stole compute. And ByteDance is certainly mad about it because when they saw that the paper was submitted using their stolen GPU time, they sued him in Beijing, demanding a public apology and demanding $1.1 million in damages, roughly. This was back in November. That court case is still pending. So this guy now has a court case for a million bucks against him, best paper award at NeurIPS, and a massive controversy around what he did. And the where, where, where I come down on this at the end of the day is you have someone who is brilliant enough that they can figure out how to hack the AI modeling pipeline of a major model builder and AI researcher, and they can do that for their benefit, and they can get a groundbreaking innovation out of it. You want to employ them. You just want them to have a very good manager with tight constraints. If you don't employ them, it will be worse because they will figure out a way to contribute to this field. It is evident that they will not be stopped from contributing to the AI field. It's about whether you employ them or not. So I would expect that someone in the model maker space is going to decide to bite the bullet, cover the liability for the damages sued for, settle out of court, and get this guy employed, as long as they have very, very tight constraints. Because they want the innovation in the house, they just don't want the liability that comes from him being a loose cannon. So we will see what happens. It's still unfolding, but the story of Kei Tian is already the wildest internship story I have ever heard. You tell me if you've heard something wilder, but this is just nuts.